That's okay. Hello, folks. Welcome back. Welcome back. And you say over there. That's right. For I am the one, the only. I am Hobo Tom, and I'm feeling so much better. I'm finally getting back into the rhythm and groove of things. Don't, don't whap at the microphone. My cat's sitting on the table, and she's just like, the heck is... No, because you have... Let's see, let me see that. Wow. That's what I get for... Getting stuff off you. That's okay. Oh, wait, where was I? Yes, I'm the one, the only, I am Hobo Tom. And I have a whole bunch of thank yous to shout out to. Um, again, remember a couple weeks ago, it was a record. Is that ink? Let's scratch off stuff. I can't tell. Uh oh. Wait a second. What is this? What's this I see coming? What was that? Oh yeah. Aw, you don't want to go. What's wrong with you? I didn't mean to do that to your tail. She just wants attention. Since I've been home working, she has nothing but attention. Especially when she sits in front of my work desk. My work computer. Yeah, you'll be fine right there for a little bit. Yes! Wait a second. Oh, where was I? What's up? <laughs> See, you he, 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 he saw the fuzzy little ear. There she is. Yeah, don't you walk across that keyboard. Yeah, I'm going to have to go some thank yous out. Right, Chispa? Ridiculousness. That's what I have to put up with in life, I guess. I'm a Mrs. Number One fan. You, sir, have earned that six count.
Joel TJ, you're a master of the air guitar. Just ruined my work desk. <laughs> um, Coddly135, yours are chilling out with your briefcase broom box. You know, that's state equipment, she's fucked. What are you doing? Get over here, no. Stay here for a second. There we go. Why are you being destructive, cat, all of a sudden? Well, that's the important stuff, too. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, boy toy. You, sir. And crawl out of here. This being super pesty. Important documents. That's probably going to confuse a whole bunch of stuff. Let's see here. Where was it? Babetron 99. You, sir, always win by dirty pen. Corky 316, you're a member of the El Generico band. Nico of death. You, sir, no. You, sir. Holy shit.
And finally tonight, cover all. You know that Jordan has back. Oh my god, Becky, look at her back. I like big butts and I cannot lie. So again, I do apologize. There are too many people. I do not have enough stuff. Hopefully I'll get this up and edited tomorrow. I cannot guarantee stuff. Let's see, where was I now? As far as tonight goes, let's talk about some Monday Night Raw because I just have to get to the Cinco de Mayo special. Yes. Oh, and I have to start deleting stuff from my hard drive too. But that's a whole other separate thing one day. Probably this weekend. Oh yeah, I didn't realize, I think uh, the backlash of WrestleMania is on Oh yeah, also I'm getting a haircut tomorrow. This is this is I'm sick of this. Bye bye. What the hell is that? Okay, I know what that is. That was an ink stain. Losing it, man. Yeah. I'll probably get this up tomorrow. Shouldn't take two maybe even tonight. Uh we'll see. Yeah, but oh wait, let's talk about Monday Night Raw. It starts off with AJ and Omos. Uh, they start talking about stuff. Uh, the New Day come out, they want the rematch. So we have AJ Styles and Omos versus the New Day. And this is the way, according to a bunch of people, well, mainly James E. Cornette, how this match actually should have happened. Uh, Omos just comes out, first one in, no sells everything. Uh, just tosses around Xavier Woods. Yeah. And the no sells the leg kicks, tosses Xavier Woods around, throws him into the corner, starts to toss Kofi around. Uh, Kofi needs to use the ropes. He has to use momentum uh, in order to even get at Omos or annoy him a lot. Uh, Kofi and Xavier try to double team something. Doesn't matter. Omos just has double clothesline. Uh, there was a boot face eye rake. Oh, the, oh, the, the boot eye rake. Classic heel. Near Andre the Giant-ish type move. And AJ, not so smartly, high fives. High five. Omos, that of course constitutes as a tag in the WWE. So AJ has to come in do some wrestling moves. And that's when AJ Styles, for the most part, gets beat up. Um, AJ Styles on 40 gets uh, unicorn, uh, unicorn stomped. And you know what? Someone in chat in the Discord group mentioned the Bullet Club. But you know what? There wasn't a Bullet Club symbol. It was very simply it said Omos with like some uh, inverted triangles and a pyramid on it. That'd be great. It did look from a distance like the Bullet Club symbol, but it wasn't. I'm like, is Omos too... Sweet for life. Who knows? Uh, yeah, so AJ gets the unicorn stomps. He tries to come back with a jawbreaker. Eventually, AJ Styles winds up the corner. Uh, Moss tags himself in, just slaps AJ on the back. He hits that amazing side backbreaker on both members of New Day, Xavier Woods and Kofi Kingston separately. Um, whatever they, whatever they tried to do, they just kind of annoyed Omos. Omos tags in AJ Styles, and he does from the withering height of Omos' shoulders of the top shoulder phenomenal forearm. Whoa, that was pretty cool. AJ and Omos retain the championship. Good to see that. At least the WWE are not hot spotting stuff. Solid cheeseburger match. And then there's Boo Sonya Deville and Adam Pearce backstage. Boo Sonya Deville. Boo Sonya Deville. There's some tension. Um, Sonya is now looking like a yes woman. We'll see why. But I say no, 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 no. Actually, I say delete, 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 delete. Uh, then we have an Eva Marie 
and she's like a red-haired tawny chitane posing on top of a Ferrari in heels. Whoa. She better be ve those better be very soft old heels. Because they will scratch up a Ferrari. You don't want to scratch up a Ferrari. Although, in the Ferrari car's defense, it looked like kind of a fake Ferrari because it looked like a very matte finish. Instead of like the shiny cherry red Ferrari, this had like a matte finish and it looked kind of dull, which I was kind of shocked at because normally Ferraris, nice bright red shiny Ferrari, such as the one from Magnum PI, old school TV shows are coming back, folks. Uh, I forget what channel it is here. It's not Comet. It's the ID Net. I forget if it's ID Network or what, or what it's called. But I've seen Magnum PI, and I think I even have a video of that on my previous collection. Actually, I think from the coronavirus. And hopefully, the legislature puts an end to a lot of this mask wearing. Myself and the one assistant boss is sick of wearing masks. I don't know. Everyone else at my job just seems to be broken individual, so I have no clue. And the one's too young to know any better. I didn't say that, though. Oh, yeah. By the way, I have something. Oh, yeah. I'll, I'll get that quickly, too. Give me two seconds. Or more than that. brought these home for a very particular reason. So you know what folks? Serena Deeb oh wow. That went a little too quick. That's okay. Serena Deeb, you wanna work here. Take a look at this Serena Deeb. This is where you want to apply to. You don't want to go back to being a teacher. You wanna apply here. See this place? This place this place is no bueno. You do not want to work at American Eagle. No, this place bad, very bad, no bueno. What you wanna do, wanna work here, yes. Again, join our team at my one job. Hopefully my boss will like this free plug. Hopefully Bob doesn't fire me, but we'll see. So I've plugged my one job twice, so that's good. I'll show it to my coworkers. Work here instead. But let's see. Um, so let's get back to some of the matches at hand. And I think my videos I'll, I'll follow because I was a little too fast. A little too quick on the draw with that. But let's see. So Eva Marie and all red and all pink everything now. I don't know how that will translate. Because her hair is pink. It's not all red everything, Eva Marie. But yeah. The Kayla was with Bobby Lashley and MVP. They're going to... They're going to have a match. They do a little talking. Then we have, woo, Charlotte Flair taking on Dana Brooke. And wow, uh, Dana Brooke starts off r really fast. However, there, there was a terrible satellite DDT, uh, satellite Huracurana spot. The key with the satellite Huracurana is that you kind of have to be going off the ropes for it to look natural. You just can't go from a hurricanrana position and try to swing your body around Charlotte looked like she was doing all the work with that that was not good it made the spot look terrible uh, the rest of the match was actually pretty decent though Charlotte Flair what's that I don't know what that is I still have to find a dentist too alright but um yeah so that looked terrible though I mean, Charlotte did most of the work, then uh, Charlotte, on her comeback, stomped Dana Brooke, tosses Dana outside the ring. She doesn't belong in the ring, which won Charlotte Flair. Uh, Dana then eventually, again, as she's getting back in, Charlotte stops her. So Dana very simply grabs her, uh, snaps her neck across the top rope. We've seen that at least half a dozen times in matches, so you guys know what that looks like. Uh, Charlotte missed. But and Dana was still pretty good with her strikes. She did a 
Oh, she missed the natural selection. Dana comes comes back, throws it in the corner. It's two backspring elbows and the second one to a senton. I was impressed. I mean, Dana Brooks making a good show. She is, of course, as Kevin Scampoli would say, a household name. <laughs> Kevin's watching an old video and like, yeah, it was a household name match. Ronda Rousey versus Dana Brooke. Yeah, that's right. The household name? Do, 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 do. I haven't seen... I should go check out the whole effing show one day. See if he's still... I know a while ago he said he wasn't going to do it anymore. I'm still here, though. For I'm still the one, the only. I am Hobo Tom. Let's see here. So she missed the third one. Uh, went to a chop lock. Charlotte decided to end at the figure eight. Uh, she would not let go. Manny Rose gave a stiff-looking drop kick. As Charlotte was all there, stretched out and exposed. That was pretty cool. Overall, the match, I'm shocked. It was actually pretty good. It was a solid cheeseburger match. Why did I put my camera in? Oh, I think it's okay. Okay. I should have enough charge for a few matches. I'm good to go. Uh, Charlotte then calls out Sonya Deville. Sonya Deville... Looks like she's getting bullied. Boo, Sonya! Have some free will. Boo, Sonya Deville. Um, Charlotte's going to get added to the three the threesome. <laughs> Three-way match. And backlash of WrestleMania. Uh, Rhea Ripley comes down, so does Asuka. Asuka stood tall. I don't think Asuka's winning that belt back. Then we had John Morrison and Damien Priest. Not happy for a bunch of reasons. I think Coverall and I decided the WWE is killing finishers. And I'll get to it. Coverall mentioned the one. I mentioned the second one. He said AEW killed that. Unless, you have, unless you're an old school guy and or have a very protective finisher, your finisher means jack squat nowadays. But John Morrison versus Damian Priest. Uh, there was no Moonlight Drive to start the match. John, John Mundo tried to do this very quickly. I refuse to call him John Morrison. He will always be Johnny Mundo to me. Johnny Mundo sounds better. I know originally he was John John Morrison uh, in the late 90s, early 2000s. But still, it just doesn't sound right. No Moonlight Drive. Uh, Mundo, yeah, and you can tell... Him, uh, you could see that he was selling priests of spots. Oh, he ate a really big slapjack, though. That was pretty good looking. <coughs> they traded strikes for a little bit. Morrison actually got the better of that. And then Mundo was too agile. Uh, there was no Superman punch that got countered. Priest goes up to the top rope. And then Mundo hit the top rope Spanish fly. Why, WWE? Why do you bury the Spanish fly? You know what I'm talking about out there on YouTube. The Spanish fly, when you first saw it, looked like the most amazing move ever. No, it's just another wrestling move. The Spanish fly looked like it legitimately, well, didn't do anything, but it looked so cool, though. I mean, that was the whole thing behind it. It looked so awesome. It looked like, oh my goodness, you have to be such an athlete to pull that off. Now it's just no soul. Now it's just nothing. Boo. This was... It's like Austin Aries when he no sold Starship Pain. Terrible. Let's see here. So yeah, Damian Priest hit his finisher. You know what? Because they're burying John Morrison, this match is just a ham sandwich. Then we have Lucha House Party taking on Shelton Benjamin and Cedric Alexander. Lucha House Party. Grand Malik starts off. So they're so fast and so agile. They're so underused. Uh, walking the top rope to the drop kick. That's great. Shelton Benjamin, is he's just too strong though. Uh, again, powers his way out of her Karanas from Lindsay Dorado. 
Uh, Lindsay, Lindsay, he's so deft. I mean, but then when he came off the rope, did a flip. But Shelton hit him with such a clothesline from hell. It would have made JBL very proud of him. Uh, Shelton. Again. He catches. Um, Lindsay Dorado hits him with a big kick. Uh, finished off the match. Is on the outs uh, got stuck on the outside. Lindsay Dorado is a splash. On to Cedric Alexander. Uh, Shelton eats the rope walking elbow by Grand Metal Leaf, which is still pretty good. Lucha House Party wins. I'll tell you what, it was a solid cheeseburger match. And the important thing is that Cedric gets on the mic. It's breakup time with Shelton. Shelton's like, Yeah, I allowed you to do that. We'll, we'll get to that later. Then we had Angel Garza and Drew McIntyre. Drew's like, you don't score with any chicks. <laughs> Angel Garza, I'm going to stick this flower right up your ass. Wow. Very harsh words. And then we'll see what happens. Because the next match was Angel Garza and Drew Gulak. Angel Garza came up very quick, quick two quick drop kicks. Again, off to this match already. A uh, little we'll ground and pound, a tiger backbreaker. Gulak comes back, classic my wrestling. This was good because this did feature a clash of different styles. Styles make fights, and when you have different styles, especially if they can interact with, with one another, that's really good. That makes that enhances the match. It's just not a typical WWE style match. You have a little lucha action, a little lucha strong style, combined with classic mat wrestling from the WWE. It's actually pretty good stuff. A uh, very quick match, though. Uh, eventually, Garza again, has a big clothesline and hits the wing clipper. I'll tell you what, solid. Uh, Angel Garza wins. Solid cheeseburger match. My only contention is that if this was too short, this could have gone on all night. Um, Garza then takes the flower, stares at it. Says, you want to smell the roses? For a second, I thought he was going to really st stick it up where the sun don't shine. Is that he places it where the sun don't shine. Necessarily, that's not good either. If that rose has thorns on it, that's going to hurt. And it could hurt something vital down there. Yes. And then, of course, Garza kicks him. Whoa. Straight bunghole kick. With... A thorny flower. Ouch. That's not a pretty sight. Seriously, I had to restart the camera a little bit. Um, then we have Riddle talking to Eric and Ivar. It's like, yeah, man. Did you see the draft? Who do you guys root for, man? Do you, root, do you root for the Vikings? Or do you root for the Raiders? Because, yeah, you're the Viking Raiders. Yeah, Riddle's getting kind of... Uh, I'm sure you don't want this. There we go. Trying to adjust stuff. Trying to maximize. Whoa. No, that goes back there. That's all. Side to side movement. So again, you can see the door of wrestling right behind me. Um, yeah, so Eric and I are getting very quickly... Bemute, like Their patience is wearing thin. And then Randy Orange just like... And so, Riddle zips it, locks it, and he just says, and Riddle gives him the key. Yeah, so we had RK Bro next, taking on Jackson Ryder and Elias. I miss El Vagabundo. In fact, I stole El Vagabundo because we have Ijo Del Hobo El Vagabundo. Yep, Ijo Del Hobo. El Vagabundo del Hobo. Whatever I for I forget what I called them. That's okay, so I have that match. I can go one, two. I can figure out stuff. That's always good. But yeah, uh, so with this match. So it's actually a pretty good match. Orton again, he goes right after Elias. Uh, Jackson Riker again. 
It's tagged in. Uh, Matt Riddell goes after him. Uh, tries for a standing Kamara. Probably the worst way to do a Kamara is when you're standing. You have absolutely no, no leverage on the person. He tr goes for a bro mission. Um, Elias thing is to beat up uh, Riddle. Riker has a falling headbutt. That was an assist, assisted uh, running knee. Matt, however, uh, Riddle actually comes back with a V trigger. Elias has he has a great looking backdrop. Okay, well, he gets backdrop on the table. He evaded the first draping DDT. Yeah, that wasn't gonna happen. You know he would hit it eventually. Eventually, yes, Randy Orton did hit the draping DDT. Uh, tagged in Elias for the floating bro. And again, as Jackson got in to try and break up the pin, uh, Randy Orton just nailed the RKO on him. That was it. Solid match. They're building this team up. I like it. Uh, RK Bro won. Solid cheeseburger match. And then Kayla! I miss Billy K. Billy K. You know what you have to do? Where is it? Billy K, you have to work here. This is where you want to work, Billy K. Right here. Join our team. Yes, very important. Again, any of those people that, any of you people out there or a hobo is like me and need a job, join our team as well. Especially if you're a 40 year old red haired woman. Yeah, that would make it better for me. So Kayla, Kayla, if you ever do need a job, again, I have to plug my job a lot. Kayla, if you ever need a job, join our team. Uh, Kayla universe Drew, Braun shows up. Drew's like, yeah, you better get out of here. Whoa, he punked Braun. Not necessarily a good idea. Then we had Sheamus versus Mansoor. Uh, this was actually pretty good for a while. Um, started off pretty quick. They kind of just trade lockups. Then Mansoor slapped Sheamus. Sheamus gets beat up a lot. It's that pasty pink Scottish... Or the pasty pink... Yeah, yeah. The Irish are, are pink looking. The Scottish are blue looking. That's how you can tell the skin tone. But yeah, that pasty pink skin of Sheamus cannot take a slap though. A little flurry of offense for Mansoor. Mansoor gets tossed out of the ring. Uh, Mansoor eventually gets a t uh, double and smile to 10. Beat to the belfry. The gorilla press line onto the barricade, but no. Mansoor gets in, beating it at the 9 count. Not the 10 count. Uh, Mansoor hits a tonary DDT. Sheamus got busted open. He dropped kicked Sheamus. And then he hit the bottom turnbuckle. I don't know if it was a scrape. It was weird. Like, where he hit, he got, like, a little scrape on his forehead. And his arm got, like, busted open, too. I don't know. It has to be that pasty pink skin being Irish. You just can't take a cut. Again, whenever he gets, especially with the kendo sticks, wow, he gets lit up so easily. Um, shame yeah, on the arm. Then, just when you think James is going to be on Mansoor a little bit, Alberto Carrello comes in, jumps Sheamus. We are all the death to finish, baby. Nobody wins. Well, Sheamus wins. The Sheamus got beat on. But then eventually, Sheamus came back and he broke it both at Mansoor fellow and the guy who jumped them, Alberto Carrello. Yeah, that's right. He got he got his comeuppance, and you know what? Because it's what the death to the death to finish. Yeah, I think the math was pretty good. This is a dusty cheeseburger, baby. Then we have the Alexa Bliss, and this is just getting weird. Like it went from like sexy weird to like curvy weird and now it's just weird um then probably in a way too short of a match we had Lana and Naomi taking on Nia Jax and Shayna Baszler really fast start uh Lena hit a cross body um Baszler eats so much of the offense 
Um, she ate so many tag team combos, I can't even name them all, except for the one, the uh, double face buster, Nia Jax breaks that up. Um, eventually, Reginald makes a distraction, and then Shannon Baser puts on the Carafuna clutch onto poor Lana. Yep, Lana had a tap out. This match was too short, but still it was actually pretty good, though. It, it kind of showcased. Again, the double teamwork was amazing, though. Double teamwork was fast, crisp, to the point. Good stuff. It was a ham sandwich of a match. Then we have in the main event, Bobby Lashley versus Braun Strowman. First thing they do, classic big men tie-up. Oh, that's so good. Trying to figure out who's the stronger individual. Um, Bobby, again, bad idea to try to shoulder attack Braun. He, and then he starts, he uh, ran to a clothesline. Braun, the running splash into the corner. Not the second time, though. Again, Bobby will actually counters that. This was good. This was a good classic big man on big man match. Good W, classic WWE stuff. And remember, we're having retro... Smackdowns, so they're probably bringing back this old logos, uh, grainy looking TV set screens. Um, Impact did it better. Yeah, Impact did it better. Uh, let's see, running splash. Bro, he went for the uh, 10 hit. But then Drew McIntyre shows up, distracts Braun, Drew goes to commentary. You're like, uh oh, you know what's going to happen now. Uh, Bobby Lashley starts beating up Braun. Braun, that toss suplex. He picks him up, just like throws him somewhere. Can't even hold him. He's like, I'm just gonna toss. I'm gonna toss you. I'm, I'm gonna toss you. I don't have a good Braun Strowman voice. Uh, Strowman Express on the outside, uh, wind up on the outside. The Braun just a woo woo. Strowman Express, but no, Lashley's smart enough, sends him into Drew McIntyre. Drew McIntyre comes in, stares down Braun Strowman. Lashley hits the spear on Braun. He could not get the he could not get the hurt luck, but the spear is good enough to finish Braun Strowman. And then Drew has a claymore for each of them. For Braun, three, two, one, claymore. Drew stands tall. I don't think Drew's winning the belt. Yeah, that was his. Backlash moment. Um, this match overall, though, solid cheeseburger match. This for all went unexpectedly smooth. Um, I think the women's match was the only part where it felt long, and they ended that quickly. Other than that, it just kind of moved along. Good stuff for a change. Um, so this week's schedule, I do have to work. I have to mark off stuff on my calendar. So I do have to work on Wednesday, so I'm not going to be covering Blood and Guts. That's going to be bad anyway. Also be missing Retro Smackdowns for the most part. Might be able to catch some of it. Probably not enough of it, though. And then off Saturday and Sunday. That's pretty cool. Okay. Oh, also, on Wednesday, though, there will be Cinco Mania. I have to find a good Cinco Mania picture. You know what? I'll be lazy. I'll just reuse the one I have from last year. It'll just be 2000 and whatever. I forget if I put the year on it. That's okay. I like.